Hello Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Welcome to your love reading. This is Mary from Mary's Starrett Corner. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Cancer, this is a collective love message for your sign. So please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Let's see. Vacation, vibration, vacation, hidden. Funny. Okay. Someone is losing sleep over you. Overall energy we have insomnia. No sleep. Yeah. This person is thinking a lot about you. I feel this is someone who is giving you mixed signals. Once they can be very serious. You might feel like they might be quite, you know, thinking a lot about maybe kind of a person who is quite uh, I feel this person has this tendency to to hold back but when they have a good day they are quite funny they make you laugh uh, maybe this person is a comedian okay but it's fun to be around them the, these are completely two different energies and I feel that in general this person is making an impression on you like they are hiding something you might feel that this person somehow maybe that kind of mood swings and that kind of changeable behavior of days it's somehow connected uh, with that with their past this is someone who hasn't fully healed here from something but they are very good at hiding at hiding that sort of kind of maybe the reason why they are acting like this in general i feel that you are dealing here with someone who it's quite chilled you know maybe you met this person during holidays or while you were on a vacation or on the break but um, there is a lot going on here when it comes to this individual and everything is like hidden there is a need to kind of this person needs to raise their vibration they need to do some healing work and but some sort of kind of energetical shifts going to happen fairly soon you might see them as, as someone who is quite um, energetically quite complex you know once they are very approachable very cool they coming with initiative they are full of energy and enthusiasm creativity they want to do things uh, you know they are very f they are they are they are fun to be around again but there are days when this person, for instance, um, might kind of acting a little bit withdrawal, like you're talking to them. They are just not fully present. You feel like they are thinking about something else, that there is something on their mind. That's what I am getting. Someone here who is um, who has that kind of changeable uh, energy. It's like a mood, moods, mood swings. but they are thinking a lot about you show me more please yeah four of pentacles so they are holding back four of swords you might be seeing repeated numbers cancer 44 might be quite important number for you or fourth of april nine of april i have Eighteenth of April. Something might have happened in um, in the month of April. Okay. I also have nineteen eighty nine eighty four as a year. So we have four of Pentacles, four of Swords, nine of Cups, the Moon, the Hangman. Show me more. Oh, okay. The lovers six of cups the lovers mm -hmm. yeah this is someone here who needs to heal their past okay nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck 
So Cancer, you might be dealing with Pisces. I have Gemini. I have actually quite strong Pisces energy and also Scorpio. So those signs we have so far in this reading for you, okay? So for some of you at the moment, there is no contact situation. It feels like this person withdraw their energy. And it might be a case that things were getting quite serious between the two of you with the hangman four of swords and the lovers and this person uh, it's like they got scared i'm getting someone who when they take a step forward at the same time they're taking two step back and it's like this person withdraw their energy and they are holding back because um they started to feeling they started to have feelings for you essentially cancer nine of cups repeated numbers 44 99 you see we have also 66 because the lovers it's six and we have a six of cups next to it it's like this person got scared with the moon. You're dealing here with someone who is very insecure and it's all about their past. It's like this person is conditioned by their past with the six of cups and they haven't done anything about this with the hanged man. They understand, they see things from a different perspective, but in order to do some healing, this person, have, haven't, this person hasn't done anything of, of it, of that kind. And this is something here to do uh, with a relationship regarding maybe like a for some of for some of you this is someone here who was in a relationship it's like a first love okay and it didn't work out but i also see some sort of kind of childhood situation as well you didn't kill with someone who, whose parents might have a divorce when they were very young. And it's like they decided with the Nine of Pentacles that they're going to be uh, um, single because it's easier. This person wants to, by all costs, avoid disappointment in love. And the thing here is that with the Nine of Cups... <laughs> And with the lovers, it's like they attracted you as they wish fulfillment. This is someone who's been dreaming about meeting person like you and they met them. And with the lovers, this is someone who really wants to be in a relationship with you. They keep it as a secret, hidden again with the moon. But um, it, it wouldn't surprise me if you tell me here that this person a kind of withdraw their energy or you feel like they ghosted you or they have gone quiet on you because they got scared because this is someone here who is having feelings for you they are with the moon this is a fear attached to this whole situation that's why they are losing sleep over this because this person is realizing how profound their emotions are that they have for you they need to disconnect and heal their past because that past, it's interfering with the present. Show me more about this person's feelings towards cancer. King of Cups. King of Wands. And Temperance. We have a Ten of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. This person has feelings for you with the King of Cups. This is a very nice energy because King of Cups represents someone who wants to be emotionally available and who is emotionally available and who has those feelings for another person and in this case this person is in love with you king of wands here suggests that they are very ambitious and it's like this person doesn't want to give up on this emotions and feelings that they have for you this connection 
this is also someone who has so much passion for you as well. So we not only have emotions, feelings, but we also have passion and attraction that this person feels to you and uh, towards you. And when we have the temperance, you might be dealing with Sagittarius. Uh, this person really wants to kind of, uh, I feel they want to find balance within themselves regarding all those emotions that they have for you because um, it, it, you, you have someone who is enough with you and who I feel that maybe it can be a case here that this uh, attraction and this passion is very kind of intense between the two of you and all those emotions and this person is kind of thinking my gosh I really need to kind of calm down I really need to find that middle ground I need to find more balance and be grounded more tranquility to the situation because this person wants you that's the thing here cancer ten of pentacles they want a serious relationship with you long-term relationship with you and this is in their feelings but I feel this person is very overwhelmed by the emotions that they have for you. Mm -hmm. That's why they're trying to kind of bring more, they're trying to be more balanced, more grounded. They want to be in control very much. Show me this person's actions towards cancer, please. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, <sighs> this person will be giving you a mixed signals with the Seven of Cups. It's like once... I feel that they will be presenting a completely different attitude and then they will be coming today kind of nine of pentacles energy of you know being single cherishing their own independence and freedom seven of wands however uh, this person is very protective over this connection again you know but that sort of attitude can really kind of push you away there is that sort of kind of a uh, they need to be very cautious about this whole thing. Page of Swords, they're going, this, is, this person, it's thinking a lot about you, Cancer. And with the Page of Swords, it's like they will be <laughs> checking, if you have social media, you can be reassured that they will be checking your social media every day, non-stop. They are very curious about you. They cannot stop thinking about you. That's the thing. You see, he's looking. I feel that on emotional level, this person is seriously encouraged by their heart to take action. But they need to do, they need to, uh, they need to heal. They need to close a certain chapter in their life and just because it's already done and they need to kind of, you know, just leave the past in the past. The thing is that I see someone here who is holding on to you, who might be giving you mixed signals with the seven of cups when, you know, showing you here that they are independent, they like their independence. But at the same time, it's like they will be very protective over this connection when they will be kind of spying on your social media, trying to figure out what you have to, if there is any competition on the horizon as well, because they wouldn't, they would not like this. The, the whole reason why they're doing this, because they're invested, seven of pentacles, this person is invested emotionally and energetically in this connection in you show me the outcome the magician there will be a conversation 
show me the outcome yes you see ace of swords this person's going to talk three of swords mm, okay so that's four of swords show me the outcome you might be dealing cancer with virgo gemini okay so magician it's showing here that there will be a change this person is manifesting a conversation with you ace of swords you will find out here about something because that's a triumph of truth clarity it's coming uh, this person really wants to kind of they really want to talk about a certain situation it's like i feel that they will kind of take a leap of faith um, because we have an ace of wands as an overall energy and that's action so you can based on this reading you can be reassured that something here will change and you will gain more clarity and understanding why this person is behaving the way they're behaving the magician is this power of manifestation and also represents communication conversation but i feel very strongly here that you'll be talking a, a, about many areas of uh, of of many areas regarding life but ace of swords brings some sort of clarity about this person experience from the past which is represented by the three of swords this is someone who will be a little bit more open or they will like open up to you regarding um certain situation that was particularly difficult for them and i feel this is something to do with divorce um something to do with breakup and it might be a case that again this is someone who experienced uh, that sort of uh, emotional upheaval why they were uh, in their family meaning maybe they um parents got divorced when they were really young and it was very difficult for them or this person something to do here with a breakup but it's like this person will let you know it's like they will try to kind of um they will try to explain to you why they're acting in a certain way momentarily and they will take this action with the ace of wands you can expect that you will find out here about a certain experience very very difficult emotionally for this person that they went through this experience essentially and you will gain clarity about this because at the end of the day this three of swords it's not about ending this connection because based on this whole reading this person uh, has in, is in love with you you know they have passion and love for you so you have someone here who is starting developing really strong feelings for you but they are giving you mixed signals and it's like this conversation will be like an eye opener for you because you will gain clarity and knowledge why this person is acting in a certain way they will share a certain um, facts about their past and a certain experience which wasn't easy represented by the three of swords and it's like they will let you know and it will be like cancer this is why i am acting that way i hope now you know mm -hmm. but they are manifesting truth and that truth will be revealed to you and this person will be more expressive they will open up to you about a very very difficult experience that they went through and actually that this experience kind of uh, it's like this person is conditioned by this nevertheless overall energy ace of wands suggests here that you will be in touch that you will see a certain progress regarding this connection and this person will take action uh because they care you have someone here who cares for you so expect here cancer um uh, an honesty from this person this person will will try to be honest sincere 
and will try to open up to you in order for you to kind of understand where, where some, from where this person is coming from, why they have those mood swings, why they acting in that sort of way and why they sometimes giving you mixed signals. So lots of clarity coming in to this whole situation. Cancer, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Cancer, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me and for your support. I'm sending you much, much love. Till next time. Take care. Bye.